Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my huge haul. Yes, that's right. I'm doing a haul video. I can't remember. In fact, I don't think I've ever done a haul video before, but I've gotten a lot of new things over the last week, week and a half, and so I wanted to show them to you because they're things that I'll be using in my upcoming videos. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging and in hopefully having your best second half ever, best second half ever. I'm not sure what that means, but if you're interested in making your 40s, 50s, 60s, and onward the best ever, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my twice weekly videos. Okay, let's get down to this. And I'll be going through these haul items rather quickly. And some of them I do have on my face. And the first is a fabulous new foundation, which I love in its drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I absolutely love it. It is a medium to a full finish foundation. I would say medium but buildable in the T-zone if you want to add a little more there. And look at the beautiful coverage it gives. It really does kind of null out my pores and I have very big pores because I've had oily skin my whole life. I'm over 60 now and I still have oily skin, but this goes on just beautifully and it is in a beautiful little pump bottle which makes it very, very convenient, makes it last a long time. I've been wearing this for the last few days and I really just love it. It wears all day and into the evening and really still looks great. Now the next foundation I purchased is also a drugstore, which I love drugstore foundations. This is the Maybelline Up to 24 Hour Foundation and it is called Superstay and this is all over the internet and they are so right about this foundation. I wore this a couple of times in the last few weeks and it wears, I think it actually wears about like this one, but that is all day and into the evening. And again, it just gives you a beautiful kind of skin-like finish and I'll be wearing that in future videos and maybe give it a wear test. Now, as you may know, I also really like makeup brushes and the Real Techniques brushes are some of my favorites. They're very, very reasonable in price. They have great videos online to show you how to use them. I've just purchased this Flawless Base Set and I have not tried this yet, but I'll be trying this in a future video, maybe testing one of those foundations. And then this one I absolutely love. This is the Real Techniques Rebel Edge Trio for bronzer, shadow, and highlighter. And I actually use these brushes to do the contour and bronzer that I have on my face right now. Absolutely love them. This big one is fabulous and it's worth the whole price of the set. And I've linked them below. And right now Ulta has a buy one, get one 50% off. So it's a great time to pick these up. Got a little stray hair there. But this big one is absolutely wonderful. It's fluffy and fabulous and it just fits under your cheekbones and it does beautiful bronzer around the forehead and in this area. It just seems to fit my face very well and I think you might like it. Now the next product in my haul is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Perfector and this is in the color blonde and it is hard to get open. Ooh, it's got a spoolie on that end. I have it on my eyes now and I like it. I wouldn't say I love it and the reason I don't love it is, you can't really see that, but it's got a little rounded tip there and I really prefer the ones that have the triangular tip so you can get the tail because I am tail challenged. And if you're a blonde and you're not tail challenged so you don't need anything triangular on the end, this may really work for you because it's a wonderful color. Now my next product is a little eye product and I love this one. This is a MAC eyeshadow in the single shadow formula. It is called Nylon Frost. And I don't know if you can see it, but I have it on the inner corners of my eye there. And as opposed to many kind of sparkly shadows that you just grab out of the eyeshadow palette that don't really wear, this little sucker wears like iron. Here it is. Look at that pigment and that shine. This is absolutely a brilliant little accent to lighten up the inner corners of your eyes. Now, going down a little further on my face, I have blushes and I absolutely love these blushes. The first one is actually a blush and contour kit and highlighters, I think. It's the It Your Most Beautiful You kit and I took it out of the box. And one thing I don't like, it's a very, very big palette here and it tends to get fingerprints on it. I don't really like that. But look at that blush color. Absolutely the perfect kind of neutral, peachy tone blush that works on just anyone. 
It Cosmetics has some of the best blushes that I've ever seen. Sorry, I'm glaring away at you there. And this is a beautiful contour and a great highlighter. I just have the blush on today because I have a couple of more contour kits I want to show you, but I have used this several times in the past week. Absolutely love it. Next, I ordered two different blushes for MAC, and in my opinion, these are the two different shades that you need in your blush collection. The first is a rosy tone, which I absolutely love those, and the second is a peachy tone. This one is called Peaches, and it is a very, very universal tone that looks good on about any skin. Absolutely beautiful. I love it that it doesn't have any shine to it. It's a strictly matte blush, which is very nice on us more grown-up women. And the second MAC blush is called Desert Rose, and I'll show you that one there. Absolutely a beautiful rose color. Here it is. I'll put it on my finger there. There are those two. There's the peachy one, and there's the rosy one. I hear a lot about both of these colors on YouTube, and they're absolutely perfect for us more grown-up women with a little more texture under our eyes because we really don't need a lot of shine in our blush because that does emphasize the fine lines and wrinkles. But these colors are absolutely wonderful and could be worn by pretty much all skin colors. Now my next blush is Drugstore. It's Milani, and Milani makes some of the best blushes out there in terms of Drugstore. In fact, just in terms of any blush, they're fabulous. This one is in the color 04 Berry Rays, and look at that. It's absolutely beautiful because it allows you to kind of customize your color. You can stick with the kind of fuchsia tone, or you can add a little bit of a pinky tone to it. And here you've got a little bit of highlighter color for the upper part of your cheek. And here is an absolutely fabulous lower cheek color to just take a really stiff brush and go in under your cheekbone. It really chisels in those cheeks. Absolutely beautiful. This one has a little bit more of a shimmer, but I wouldn't say it's a high shine. Here, let me sample that for you. I'll do these three colors here and then this dark color, and you can see how they look. These are very, very natural colors, but with a little bit of glow that give us that lit from within look. Now next, I have a CoverGirl blush palette, and I'm so excited to use this. I used it a couple of days last week and really loved it. Here are the colors in this palette. It is really a complete cheek palette. You have this gorgeous little fuchsia shade here, no shimmer to that, which I really appreciate. And then you've got a beautiful highlighter here that can go over that blush or a little bit over the cheekbone. And here is a wonderful, very natural contour. This is an absolutely beautiful palette. These colors are pigmented, but not too wowie zowie, not too out there. And if you really want something super economical, but that would give you a lot of bang for your buck, I would go for this palette. This comes in this fuchsia color and a more peachy tone. And it's wonderfully economical because you have your blush, you have your highlighter, you have your contour, all in one palette. Now, next I bought two contour palettes. I'm really into contouring lately, and in fact, I'm going to be doing a video soon about how to contour your face to make it look slimmer and more tight and toned, and I'm really excited about that video. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to see that, please click the bell and you'll be notified of that video. The first contour palette I got was the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chiseled to Perfection. Absolutely love this one. I love the Too Faced eyeshadows, and this contour palette is just as good as those eyeshadows. But here is what you get in this palette. First, you get a fabulous little brush, and this is not just a throwaway brush. I use this every time I use this palette, and it is wonderful. Then you have a very light looking contour here, a little bronzer there, a little highlighter there that has shimmer, and then a little highlighter with no shimmer. Absolutely beautiful. Look how neutral those colors are. I really don't like contour palettes that are too warm feeling. This one is not. This has a little bit of warmth. This has a little bit of coolness, but this is a fabulous palette that is good for about any skin tone. Now, the next contour palette I purchased was the Lorac Contour Pro, and this is a big boy on YouTube. Everyone loves this. Very classic palette. Now, here is a look at the colors in this palette. You have a light, a medium, and a dark contour. Absolutely beautiful, natural colors. Don't go too orange. And then you have a couple of highlighters. This one has a shimmer to it. This one is a little more creamy. And then this one is a yellow. I don't use the yellow very much. And I forgot to swatch the contours for you. Here we go. I'll show you all three of those. So here they are, absolutely beautiful and super, super natural. And two other things that I really like about this palette are that they give you two wonderful freebies. The first is this fabulous contour brush. And actually I have this palette on today and I use this contour brush just to chisel out those cheekbones underneath. 
and then you take it like this one way and then you blur it out using the side of the brush. Absolutely a wonderful quality brush here. And then they give you this, which I really appreciate, which is a complete Contour Pro book. And it shows you each face shape and it shows you specific guidelines on how to achieve your goals, whether that's whittling down your cheekbones, chiseling down the jaw, or bringing in your forehead, just giving yourself a more pleasing, tight and toned looking face. You've got detailed information here on how to contour your cheekbones, slim down your nose, bring in your forehead and chisel in your jawline. Absolutely a fabulous contour that will last you for literally years. Years. And of these two contour palettes, the Too Faced and this one, I prefer the Lorac Pro. Now I'm down to my last three products, which are all three powders. The first is this Hourglass Veil Powder. It's the Translucent Setting Powder. Absolutely love this one. And this one is an iconic powder on YouTube. And here is how it looks. And I've just bought the travel size, but I will be purchasing the large when I'm out of this. This powder is absolutely wonderful because you just dust it on your face in your T-zone with a little bit of a fluffy brush. And I have very oily skin, so this just nulls out that shine, but it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It just gives you that blurred out kind of poreless look, which is absolutely wonderful. Now my last two powders are pressed powders to put in your purse and carry with you. And I have a higher end and a lower end option. And I'm sorry if this is glaring in your eyes but this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and it really does give you a flawless finish that is how it looks and I use the color medium there absolutely beautiful you can see that there just a very fine milled powder very very soft and silky and what I do is I carry this in my purse but I do put my covergirl little puff in with it I wish they would give you a little puff and here's how this works you just kind of dab it on any area that you have shine and it just nulls out the shine. I love it in the T-zone because I have very large pores and it just gives you that flawless airbrushed finish. Now my last powder is Flower Beauty and I love the Flower Beauty products. I especially like their blushes and powders and lipsticks. And this is their Light Illusion Perfecting Powder in Beige. Here it is, an absolutely beautiful little pressed powder and it actually does come with its little puff there. There that is. And I'm not going to try this on for you because I'm getting a lot of powder on, but this one just nulls out the oil, does a little bit of blurring, absolutely gives your face that flawless look at a bargain price. Now I'm actually running out of time here. I don't want to keep you here all day. And I did have a few more lip products to show you, but maybe I'll do a dedicated lip video because I have so many of those. But let me show you the lipstick that I have on now. I absolutely love it. This is the Maybelline Color Stay Lipstick, and I'll put the full name of it down below because I can't see it on here with my grown-up eyes but here it is it is in the color pink for me or 376 absolutely a beautiful kind of nudie rose color here we go very very beautiful long wearing color and the thing i like about it is it feels like absolute velvet silk on your lips absolutely moist and wonderful and it doesn't have the matte look to it it's a wonderful cream formula it looks fabulous and i've paired it with a mac lip pencil in fact i bought two of them recently we were heading to the bahamas as a family it was a fun family vacation and i looked in the mirror and realized i needed some lip pencil so at the chicago airport they had a mac counter which was amazing and wonderful but i got two different lip pencils the first is in the color strip down which is the lip pencil that i have on right now i hope you can see that has a little bit of a brownish line and I'm starting to like the look of a little bit of a brown line probably gonna really screw this up trying to talk at the same time that I do my lip pencil but I do like that little bit of a brownish line around the edges because I think it does pump up one's lip volume and the second MAC lip pencil that I bought is in the color oak and here is that one in fact let me swatch both of them this is the color oak there is oak and I'll add the color strip down to show you how that one looks. There's the strip down and there's the oak. And they're perfect with any nude lip color you have if you just want to add a little bit of a soft brown outline to plump up your lips. Well, that was a look at my big haul and you'll be seeing many of those products in future videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I've been using these Language of Letting Go cards by Melody Beatty. Okay, let's choose a card. Ooh, initiating friendship, initiating friendship. Today I will pay attention to my behaviors and actions as I form new friendships. I will notice who I'm attracted to and why, and not worry about whether the other person likes me or accepts me. If I make a mistake, it's okay. I learn something valuable from every interaction with another person. 
Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and it is so true. Sometimes, you know, we see somebody we like, we start to get to know them, and we get a little bit frightened of getting a little too close for some reason because we're vulnerable. And you know, I really do that, and it is so crazy because really the best friendships are the people that we can totally be ourselves with. So friends, just for today, let's realize that friendships are important and that to have them, we need to take a little bit of risk, go out there, risk looking imperfect, because no matter what happens, we learn something valuable from every interaction. Take care. See you next time.